Hello, it's another school day here today and another complicated one. You know that blood test Izzy had done last week? Well, in the conversation I had with the dermatologist on the phone, it transpires that, though you see, there were two little sample thingies taken and one had to go in one bag and one had to go in another bag. But they went in the opposite bags to what they should have gone to and due to the rules, they had to discard them and she needed to do fresh ones today. So we're no closer to knowing whether she can go back on her medication or not. We've been muddling our way through the maths again this morning. She did technically get about 78%, which is, you know, more than good enough for what she needs, but I still feel totally inadequate that I can't help her with the ones that she can't do. So anyway, we're getting the tutor after Lisbon, as you know. I need to have a jolly good tidy up now before we start biology. We're switching all our timetable around a bit today because of the blood test. And I've got a gig this evening as well. And I have to leave fairly early for that. We have just unleashed the bone out of its vinegar. This is water now, we've stopped it. Well, it hasn't been spectacular, but it has gone a bit bendy. Can you see the bend? It feels a lot, like that bit in the middle is still hard. You can actually bend it now. It feels more like cartilage. So while it's done, the vinegar has dissolved a lot of the calcium salts in the bone. There we are. Oh, I'm vegetarian. Well, pescatarian. Get the bone off me. It's on me. Probably the most complex point, animals store carbohydrates as glycogen. Plants do not. They store it as sucrose or starch. Okay, we've done our biology now. Well, we've done 50 minutes of biology, so we have to finish it off when we get in. We've got to get out and get a train now. We're going to totally cop out and eat Greg's pasties on the train because I didn't want to spend the time making lunch instead of doing school with Izzy this morning. So that's what we're doing. I've just packed Izzy's English language work. So if we get a chance in the waiting room, then we might do some while we're out and about. We might do some waiting for the train coming back. Don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anything we can get done while we're out, we don't have to do later, so it will save time. It's mother and daughter walking time now. Bit of exercise and fresh air, you know, looking on the positive side of things. I'm cold, very, very cold. It is starting to get chilly now, isn't it? It is very chilly, it's not starting, it is chilly. Well, she's had a blood test and we've just come to the train station and just missed a train. And mummy brought her book for me to lean on while doing school. And look what she chose. <laughs> sorry. Bleeding. Yeah, sorry. Bleeding. I literally just grabbed something quick off the pile. Sorry about that. It's the worst taste Yeah, possible. you picked a very great one to make me feel better about having a blood test. <laughs> Bleeding. Bleeding. <laughs> sorry. Very but Isabel's done 20 minutes of work in the waiting area amid all the chaos and craziness. She did 10 minutes on the station going there and she's going to try and do half an hour now and then she'll have had it all done then. Go on then, crack on missus. Boop, boop, okay. <laughs> she's finished her assignment. No. Yes, I have. Back home, it's ten past three. I went shopping on the way back home, just quickly. She's come straight home and is cracking on with her English literature. We actually did a little bit yesterday, even though it was Sunday, and uh, read through almost an entire chapter in a very cosy, snuggled up kind of way with a duvet and hot chocolate. And uh, I think she's starting to tackle the questions at the end of the assignment now, because we're trying to make up for lost time with the English literature. The English courses that she's on are only meant to be done over one academic year. But when I first set out on them, I just thought it's too much to expect her to reach that standard in a year. But actually, she's doing really well. So it's occurred to me that if she could do them next June, then we can get them off the timetable for next year, can't we, love? Mummy. Yeah? You are really getting high expectations for me. It's just a bit... Well, your tutor will know whether you're ready or not, won't she? Green light. 
Yeah. I'm green. Now we're not. We're green. Now we're That's not. very unhelpful. I find it cool. Mm. It's four o'clock now. I've just had quite a nice break for about half an hour because I was feeling pretty tired and brain foggy, but I am fine now. So it's four o'clock, as I just said. I've got to be out at half past five. I totally copped out and bought ready meals for our dinner. Uh, embarrassing, but it did seem like a cunning way to fit everything in today. So that's what I've got. Also, I had a bit of a shock this morning when I sat down to my laptop to print out the timetable for this week because I only did up to half term, completely forgot. So I'm going to just quickly see how much of that I can get done now in the next half an hour. And then I'm going to have a bath and have a bit to eat and then it's off out to the gig. There, that's literally just taken me 10 minutes to quickly just knock a one off week timetable for just this week. It is a bit reduced because obviously I'm off to Lisbon for two weeks and Isabel isn't. Which wasn't how things were quite supposed to be. But it is how they will be. And she's staying with my dad for a fortnight. So my plan is that they only have to manage a week of homeschool over the fortnight between them. If I can do as much as I can with her over half term. But there's a flaw in this plan which is that I actually needed half term to plan for the next half term and I've actually got to do all my practice for the gigs as well and learn a load of lyrics, polish up the tune sets and I've actually got a couple of gigs this week as well so I'm quite busy fitting it all in but uh, Isabel's been good as gold today, she really has it's been fantastic getting on with her work on the go and at home, brilliant, it's been really helpful. There we are, week nine, look, it helps me to write what week it is on there because I've got certain things planned for certain weeks, you see. So we can swap these over now. I leave the blue tap on there all the time and just carefully peel this off. And I just discard this then in the uh, paper recycling. Because we don't need any more clutter than we need. And it's really worth the time to just get organised if you can. It's hard when you're really really busy to stop and take stock and plan and not be just doing everything on the fly but it helps you out if you can stitch in time and all that I'm gonna get that bath now and get dressed for my gig back on the road again traffic, traffic. we were on our way how shall we rephrase that we're still okay for time though I keep What's forgetting I can actually film you because you're not you're not IB I'm not I've been. I'm just no, used to true. always having the camera. Not, uh, the world should know I am not IB. <laughs> this is VM. Visible Mick. <laughs> look! Look at those pumpkins! They just pulled up next to us. I'm impressed. Coming near to Halloween, you see. Oh, we're getting left behind now. <laughs> Pencil tonight. The gates are locked. Are they going to open? Uh. They just opened all by themselves. That's spooky, that is, and especially as it's coming right up to Halloween. <laughs> that there is Hensel Castle where we are playing tonight peering out of the darkness, just parking up here, Oops, this is where we are, Ooh. fancy. Thank you Sal, I thought you were an official the way you were waving me in. Oh, I've done a lot of training. <laughs> oh, very fancy.
the band are losing it. Him. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I got. I want tea. I, I, did you? Yeah. He's got me tea. See, I didn't. I didn't have the cheek to go and help and ask for one, but he has, and he's got me one too. Excellent. It's about ten past eight. We've already done our first set. It's very short. It's gone very well. And they're uh, for a little break for cake. They're cutting the wedding cake. It's a cake break. It is, yes. They've made a break for the cake for a cake break. It's going to be a buffet break as well, isn't there? A buffet. Are we having a, a buffet. Is there food as well? Buffet the vampire slayer. <laughs> or buffet. You're being Halloween, Halloin themed. <laughs> oh, they up to. I don't want to give you So there's an unidentified hum. Is there? Oh, that was a big one. That means I'm not there at all now. Because I'm also. Where is this going to? People are tucking into the buffet at the moment, so I've just nipped out for a quick explore while everyone's busy noshing. Pick and mix, yummy. Another amazing fireplace, it's not lit. I'm gonna go in and have a bit of grub now. And we're playing just through there. We got fed, look at this delicious selection. Mm. Tea has appeared, well, cups have appeared. I think there might be tea coming. It's half past nine, we just started up with our second set. Right, okay. Oh, is that? No. Oh, yes. They're working very slowly, but they've got drinks. They're really facing and got coffee. No? Oh dear. Are we ready? So it's a pub. Together, walk forwards. One, two, three, and turn. A pub. Together, walk forwards. One, two, three, and face. Lift right elbow with right elbow. Eight. Left elbow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which should leave you back where you started. Together, left, together, right. Yeah, would you like to go and teach your partner all right? <laughs> Let's put it together and then we'll try it with music. for our very last dance of this particular event. Tying. <laughs> my uh, my my thingy is the velcro is coming unstuck again. That's on my to-do list for tomorrow to glue that back down. Can I go over here? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gone out now. They're doing some sparkler thingy outside. I'm just going for a wee wee. It's time to leave. I held out strong, I didn't eat any wedding cake. I'm trying to be good with I them. Did. I had some wedding cake. Pick and mix got me in the end. Oh. I'm trying to be restrained. The old sugar. It's very hard when you do wedding gigs because there's always rather a lot of nice tasty treats. <laughs> and they're all rather calorific as well. Mm. Anyway, we're off home now.
I think this is the way out. It's rather beautiful, isn't it? All lit up. Oh, yeah. It's half past 11 at night and I'm back home and it's a bit late to be getting into anything else now. I think I'm just going to chill out a bit and then go to bed. Thank you so much for watching today. Do give the video a like if you liked it. Comment down any thoughts below and hit that subscribe button to follow more of our adventures and I'll see you in the next one.